Hey guys, good morning. Uh, Pete from PeteSuSense.com, uh, January 22nd, 2010. Uh, hell of a ride this morning already. It's 11.07 a.m. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. I got stopped out uh, from my two strongly believing fundamental stocks, which are Petrobras, ticker symbol PBR, and um, Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. I got stopped out just in a thrust of uh, downward pressure and volume, um, looking like it was going to end the um, the downward cycle. But, uh, you know, I, I got stopped out. I have to, uh, you know, I've already broken some of my rules uh, crossing the 50-day a lot less than I usually do. And um, just because I believed in the fundamentals and... Uh, Technically, uh, it just failed, and, and it continued failing, and I, and I lost a pretty penny there. So what, um, you know, and, and this is going for both stocks, both uh, PBR and BAC. So I, I wasn't too happy about that. I still am not too happy about that. Um, I understand the, um, the news and the pundits and uh, Obama speaking about the banks and blah, blah, blah. Um, but you know, I'm not too much of, uh, I don't feed too much into the news. So, uh, you know, I try to take, you know, stick to true reality, which are the numbers, which are fundamentals and technical, but sometimes the overall pressure of the market will take down your stocks. As I told you guys yesterday, and I've told you several times in the past, um, being a little hard headed and, um, you know, being in this game long enough, what I usually do, I developed a, a little, I don't know if you want to call it a system, but a backup system so when I lose money on a trade because this these two stocks were a trade um, and they've turned into an investment even though I got stopped out and you know the money's uh, lost period I usually try to turn that into an investment so what I usually do on losers that I do believe on fundamentals only if I believe on the fundamentals if I don't believe on the fundamentals I lick my wounds and I move on to the next stock so don't don't think I do this all the time but I still believe in Petrobras, ticker symbol PBR again. Um, they are strong fundamentals, income strong. They, these people make money. They know how to make money. Um, as I also told you, we're at the bottom of the, uh, of the barrel, let's call it, um, for oil. Oil, I think, was trading around $75 this morning. Uh, so I still believe that we're at the bottom of the barrel so we can pick up from here. So what I'm doing is I'm buying calls, long call stray. I'm not getting too complex in the option strategy. So I'm buying long calls on uh, PBR. I bought the August 2010, okay? And I did the same thing for Bank of America, again, because I still believe that they're the 800-pound gorilla. And again, I believe in the fundamentals. If I did not believe in the fundamentals in these two particular stocks, um, I would just, as I told you, just move on. But I do believe in both of them. Uh, call me hard-headed. Call me whatever you want. Uh, that's how I usually regain my losses. Um, and I think I've mentioned this once or twice. So usually I'll turn a trade that I believe in. Uh, uh, in summary, I, I turn a trade that I believe in fundamentals by buying long calls. You know, less money to risk. And um, I have higher leverage. So, you know, I can uh, buy 10 contracts, 5 contracts for a lot less money than if I had to put out uh, hard-earned cash, uh, regardless if I was on margin or not. Uh, so with that said, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so PBR and BAC, I've already done the trade. I um, When I got stopped out, I started looking at uh, the options, the long call options, and uh, that's what I did with both. So I bought long calls. Uh, I think PBR was August 2010. And for BAC, for Bank of America, it was July 2010s. Um, I bought, uh, I think, the highest in the money that I could at the, at the time. So uh, that's where I'm at. Um, so I'll let these babies sit. And ho hopefully, uh, Lady Luck and a little bit of experience, which I have regained losses in the past. Um, I don't like to lose. That's where, you know, sometimes I get hurt, but usually I've learned how to regain my losses with calls and using options or puts or whatever I'm doing or straddles, blah, blah, blah. Um, so make a long story short, that's where I'm at. So now I look for my next trade, but we got to be careful. We got to stay above 1114 in the S&P. The market looks like it's regained. I mean, it was pushing toward three digits again. It was at, uh, I think the lease was 90 points down, heading to 100. 
in the Dow, and it has regained. I mean, it was about seven points under in the Dow, so where we were about to go green, and then all of a sudden now it's pulling back around 30. Buyers are coming out of woodwork trying to get the market back up, but again, I, in my... Um, in my uh, call or, or my my pick, uh, not my pick. I, I'm lost for words. Anyway, S and P 500 needs to st needs to stay or close above 1114 uh, to make me feel good and sleep good at night. Anything below 1114, we can go into a, a you know it's a, it's a long ride down. It's a, into a, a second dip recession. I don't know if I'll break the 200, but it's a hell of a drop from. Uh, the 50 day to the 200 on the S&P. So let's cross our fingers. Let's see what happens in the next couple hours. And I'll talk to you then. Okay, guys, Pete from Pete2Sense.com. Thanks, guys.